Have you ever wondered how to control number of passengers in a tourist bus and make sure they fasten their safety belts? We'll take a look at how it can be done with the help of presence and seatbelt sensors connected to discrete and alloc inputs of the Galileo Sky Trackers, while also using filters tab. Pay attention that this function requires using Galileo Sky 7 or base block with firmware version 17.0 or higher. Let's look at the following situation. We have a bus with a capacity of 28 passenger seats. Each set has a presence sensor and a seatbelt fastener sensor. Sensors of one kind in each of the rows are a separate electric chain that uses a number of resistors that is connected to one discrete analog input. Let's take a closer look at the connection scheme. On the schemes below, the switches of the mentioned sensors SW1 to SW14 are connected via resistors R1 to R14. When a sensor is active, the voltage value measured on the tracker's input changes correspondingly. This changed voltage can be interpreted as the number of active sensors in one chain. R15 resistor is the additional load resistor. VR1 stabilizer is used to provide stable 12 volt voltage through all sensors chain, which decreases possibility of calculation mistakes when voltage is constantly changing. Please pay attention that such scheme is recommended to have no more than 14 sensors connected to one discrete analog input. Connection of a larger amount will cause mistakes and miscalculations in the interpretation results. In order to use two types of sensors on two rows of 14 sensors each, we will need four inputs as shown on screen. Let's investigate how one of such inputs should be set. For this test, we will use input 1. The input should be set in the configurator program on tab settings, ins, outs, to measure mean value. In order to interpret the measured voltage and count active sensors, we recommend to use filter tab in the configurator program, specifically TAR filter. We set the input and output values first, in this case for input values we choose input 1, and output values for demonstration will be recorded into input 2. Next, we choose the TAR filter and start filling it by writing measured voltage values and the number of active sensors corresponding to that voltage. In order to provide most precise and correct calculations, it is recommended to measure voltage level for all possible numbers of sensors being active in ascending order. After the filter is ready, it can be saved and loaded to the tracker via USB or from remote server. Let's look how the filter works. In our example, power source is providing 12V. Tracker and the sensors are powered from the same source. Also, there is a separate cable connecting a chain of sensors with the analog input of the tracker. Currently, we can see that all 14 sensors are active, so the belts are fastened. If we disconnect one resistor from the chain, we can see that the belts number changed to 13. If we disconnect 5 resistors, only 9 belts are left. Bringing the resistors back to the chain, we can see that the number changed back to 14. Received data can be sent to the monitoring software for further analysis and reports, or used in the easy logic algorithms for checking number of occupied seats with number of fastened seat belts. Input values filtering for sensors count is complete. Always provide your clients with only smart, individually developed solutions. And subscribe to our channel, so that useful information is always at hand.